The Labour frontbencher Diane Abbott, accused of making a racist comment on Twitter, has apologised for any offence she's caused. Ms Abbott, the first black woman to be elected to Parliament, said that white people love playing divide and rule. She was responding to comments on the Stephen Lawrence murder trial and said her remarks had been taken out of context. As our political correspondent Vicky Young reports. She's one of the country's most well-known black MPs, but today Diane Abbott found herself at the centre of a race row on Twitter. If you'd like to go through the swing doors, they look after you, Sylvia. So Thank you very much. In 1987, she became the first black woman elected to the Commons. For decades, she's campaigned for racial equality and finally became a shadow minister last year. But now a Twitter conversation has got her into trouble. Responding to a suggestion that some black commentators didn't understand the communities they were talking about, she wrote, White people love playing divide and rule. We should not play their game. Tactic as old as colonialism, she added. I think what Diana Abbott said was just a stupid and crass generalisation. She, uh, she should explain and apologise for what she said. Some Tories went further, calling her comments racist. She tried to explain herself. Tweets taken out of context refers to nature of 19th century European colonialism. Bit much to get into 140 characters. Labour insiders say Diane Abbott received a severe dressing down from Ed Miliband, who described her comments as completely unacceptable. I'm told she only kept her job because, despite what she wrote, she insisted that she doesn't believe in making sweeping generalisations about white people. Diane Abbott has now apologised for any offence caused. If you actually look at her track record, I think in many respects actions speak louder than words. This is somebody who's campaigned very strongly for equality. The editor of this newspaper says the row is distracting from more important issues. Certainly mischief making by... Um another Tory MP and I think it really has um, taken away a lot of the important issues that happened just two days ago regarding the result in the in the Stephen Lawrence case. But it's not the first time Ms Abbott's courted controversy. This was her description of David Cameron and Nick Clegg. Two posh white boys from the home counties. In Hackney in East London voters had some advice for their MP. I don't think she ought to resign. I think she should have kept her mouth shut a bit. Sometimes you say things without thinking. As an experienced politician, she should know what is right and what is wrong. Some Conservatives think Diane Abbott's overstepped the mark and Ed Miliband's weak for not sacking her. It's not the start to the new year that the Labour leader wanted. Vicky Young, BBC News, Westminster.